Mario Gonzalez. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, I know him. Should we bring him into the mix? Yeah, I'd say invite him. Not a bad guy. Then he's in. Yeah. Do I remember? So, apparently Ross was they're out. Wait, that's better for me, right? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. So who am I playing? Well, that's the thing. Jack fell for the scouts to care about this game. The other players needed to have something at stake. Okay. Everyone involved is a former NFL player hoping to get back on the league. So, younger and faster with something to prove. Jeez. Ready for some lighter news? There's more. <laughs> hey, that trip costs us valuable time. An interesting offer came in today. Pat. What'd you tell him? I wanted to talk to you first. I know they loved you going to the Middle East. Everyone did. I mean, the social media response was nuts. Yeah, I just wonder what they want to ask, though. Well, I can't say, but this is as safe as it's going to be for you. If you're serious about being an NFL quarterback, we need to get you comfortable with the media. This is a great chance for you to face your past head on for everyone to see. Mm. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. Great. I'll let him know. Devin? I love the show, and I gotta tell you, the last episode, when I found out you were a military guy, I was fired up for you. But it is not the traditional method of getting to the National Football League. So here's my first question, kid. How does a five-star college player quit and join the Army? Uh, me falling apart. Um, my dad had died. You know, as you can imagine, it was a... It's a very difficult time for me. You add to that the embarrassment of how I left UT, you know, and the media, you know, the media was all over me. You know, all I wanted to do was to, you know, go where no one knew my name and, and no one cared about football. I guess I, uh, guess I found my escape in the army. I didn't have some big heroic reason to go, nor am I a hero in any way. I, uh, I met a lot of heroes in my time in the Middle East. You know, it's a life choice, and you made it. And I have a lot of respect for you. But on the other side of the coin, if you had a chance to do it all over again, what would you do? Wow. If I could do it all over I would have talked about it. I mean, any of it. You know, but that's hindsight. Um, I made the mistake of not leaning on Colt or my teammates, you know, because in my mind, the only person that could help me get through it, my dad, was gone. Well, I got to tell you, Devin, that hits me pretty hard personally because my father coached me growing up, and I cherish those moments with my father. And I got to believe now that you're more mature, you're able to draw from those moments and make you a stronger person. And I also got to tell you this, when you think about Captain McCarthy, I got to believe he had a big hand in getting you from there to here. Oh, Captain McCarthy helped me find my love for football again. There's no question about that. But there were, you know, there were a number of people that helped me get to, to this spot. You know, there's my best friend, Colt. There's uh, Coach Jack Ford, uh, Julia, our producer, <laughs> even Ross Fountain. Wow, I didn't think we'd hear Ross Fountain's name on the praise list. Uh, well, mm. he, he did create the show, so. <laughs> Devin, it's time to talk to you about the Legends game. You're going to be on a football field with a bunch of NFL veterans. It's an environment you've never been in before. Yeah, true. You might be way over your head, but guess what? It's going to decide if you're drafted or not. I want your reaction and how you feel about the pressure of that game. Well, <laughs> they put together quite a cast for this thing. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't admit that I, was, I wasn't a little bit nervous. You know, I, I am. But, you know, that being said, I, I just have to play within myself and make sure I'm one of those 256 players drafted next weekend. Truth be told, I'll do whatever it takes. 
they tell me I got to walk across a hotbed of coals wearing nothing but a football helmet, like, I'll do it. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> you know, next thing on my mind is this TV show. You know how you got here, Devin? You got here because you're a TV star. I, I have questions, and my question is this to you. Are you just a TV star, or are you really a football player? You know, the truth is, I want to play pro football. You know, it's been a long road, but I, I caught a big break, you know, being invited to be on Long Shot. And if people want to people wanna hate on me for that, man, I guess that's what Twitter's for. Well, for Long Shot, you are competing against Mike Sorry, I just had to see that. Sorry. <laughs> Admit it. He came off like a pompous jerk, and you wanted to crush him. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit it. I wanted to beat him out for long shot. But, you know, I'm from Texas, so, uh, you know, we try to keep it respectful. I guess uh, it's not the same wherever he's from. Well, let's get you out of here with this. If you had the opportunity to pick any... Should I be my great? Come on. NFL team, which would you pick? <laughs> oh, I'll play for anybody. Oh, no. There you go again, Dev. How about we start here? What was your favorite team growing up? Oh, well, I can definitely answer that. Easily. Easily. Where are they? I always loved the Patriots. Well, that wasn't very hard. Now you got yourself back on track. Devin, I can't thank you enough for being here. I wish you all the luck in the world. You've been a great guest today. But look, thank you guys for having me. I mean, I, I watch your show like every day. So I really appreciate it. Jim, I'm getting the feeling he's winning you over. Uh, you got it, Pat. That young man has won me over. I think he's gonna be fantastic in the league. I like his arm, and I like his attitude. And we're clear. Oh my god. That goodness. was fabulous. Wow. Can you believe that? You did really well. Wow, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Ready for the next one, huh? Yeah, let's do it. That's right. <sighs> so long shot. Long shot. Yeah, come on in, it's open. Hey, you got you got a minute to talk? Yeah, man, yes, I do. But uh, first, take a seat. Okay. I want you to listen to something. I want you to tell me what you think, okay? All right. <clears throat> I mean, it's... <coughs> Just listen. Play, man. <clears throat> I better not get copyrighted for this. Heading down the Midwest Highway Chasing down the end of Skyline Brothers in arms just headed to the combine As the day turns into night Clock's ticking down and there's one more play One more pass and you're on your way Here's where it gets good <clears throat> Hey, he's a long shot, it's a long shot Ooh. Mm. Gonna be ready for some tonight Gotta be something for the big bright lights. He's a long shot. He's a long shot. Ooh. Yeah. Some, some gonna win the game. Some Hall of Fame. I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> that's all I got. <clears throat> what do you think? You wrote that? Yeah. I mean, for you. You know, for, I mean, for us. For, you know, the show. I don't know. I was gonna show it to Julia. You think she'll like it? It was amazing. Yeah. Make that the theme song or something? You really think so? I mean, it's just a start, but... No! Well, how, how long have you been working on it? About 30 minutes. That, Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Wow, man. It was great. It's great. Cool. Cool. It's great. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, D, you, you want to ask me something? Nah. Nah, you, uh... You, you answered it. You answered it. Yes, I did. My man. Yes, I did, because I'm psychic. I know you better than you know yourself, D. <laughs> Alrighty, right. okay. This is good. This is good. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm ready for something tonight. Maybe the big bright lights. Win this game. 
trying to go to the Hall of Fame. Yes, that's it. Charles, we've arrived at the moment long...